I'm always doing the most Finish my cup and reload Let it swing right back Let it swing right back Back, back Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we are doing a tortoise tutorial or tortoise shell tutorial, should I say. And I'm going to be using contortionist Houdini cinnamon and custard pie. So these are the four acrylics that I'll be using as well as milky pink and crystal clear as well. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and it is going to be in real time as well so you guys can follow along if you want to. I'm not going to be speeding any of this up because I want you guys to be able to really really soak up the knowledge and learn from this process of acrylic application with the tortoise shell design. So I've started off and I've got my practice tip from my website. We do sell these in full bags and I'm also using the magnetic tip stands. I'm just using the little... Um, you know th this part of it the gold bit just because that i find easier to hold and kind of wiggle and move around in my hand whilst i'm working and i'm just applying a nice thin wet layer of custard uh, custard ply custard pie acrylic and i'm just obviously there ensuring that i have got full coverage there because i'm working so wet and so thin and um, I, I am adding a little bit more in some areas just to make sure that that is going to be really true and bright so once I've done that, I'll then come in with the other, co other colours that I have available. Now the reason that I'm working so thin is because I want this design to be thin so I still can cap it. I don't want to start working really thick and bulky because all we are doing here is creating a design. We are not adding any structure th to the nail, we are not adding any strength. So this design part would be after you have applied your tips and your clear base. That is when you would come in with this part of the design and then you would cap in clear. So now I'm happy with my custard pie application, the yellow, um, kind of, what kind of colour is it? Mustardy colour. Um, I'm coming in with cinnamon and I'm just going to use this and do some large kind of random spots. So they are not like circles and they're not definite shapes. They are just real random splodges. Um, and I'm going to, again, use that powder very, very wet just so that I can move it around and really blend it in and get the kind of textures that really come through in that tortoise de um, shell design. It's kind of a dispersed look. Nothing's really like definite or finished, really. So once I'm happy with the application of cinnamon, I'm coming in with Houdini, which is a black acrylic, and I'm just overlapping that over the um, cinnamon colour, and I'm making even bigger spots over the top of that. You'll have to apologise if you can hear my dog in the background, he's obviously heard somebody walking past the house. So once I've added some black bits, I'm coming in again with that cinnamon and I'm just here now layering the colours as and how I wish. It really does depend on what you want to create and how you want the design to look as to how you layer them. But I'm just showing you the technique so you guys can kind of create your own. So now that I've done that first layer of colour, I'm coming in with um, Nail Mate Milky Pink and honestly one of the best milky pinks ever. It is really a true milky light pink. It's gorgeous. And I'm just going to encapsulate the whole design in a kind of a medium layer. It's not super thick. It's not like as thick as an encapsulation layer, but we just want to make sure that we've got some of that milky tone coming through. And this is also going to add depth so that when we add the next layer of um, splodges or a design you're going to really be able to see the difference in colour some are going to be more kind of like um, bold and opaque and the others are going to look a little bit more diffused and that's what's going to give this effect a really nice finish so I'm coming back in still with that milky pink quite wet and with a light brush I'm adding some more black some more cinnamon and some more custard pie basically in the same process that I had done before layering up those colors and making them nice and diffused.
I really hope you guys are enjoying this video. If you are, then please do give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you'd like to see more tutorials like this on certain techniques, designs and, you know, just single nail tips where I can spend a little bit more time dis um, just discussing and telling you guys the process of actually creating it rather than just kind of, you know, zooming through it all to get a full look out. So here is my finished colour application. I'm happy with that and it all looks bomb. I love the way it looks. I think I actually do come in. Oh no, I'm coming in with... I have no idea. I have lost my mind. Oh yeah, I'm coming in now with um, Showgirl, which is freaking gorgeous. It's a beautiful gold acrylic and I'm going to be going ahead and applying that just randomly over the entire nail just to add a little bit of shimmer. Of course, you don't have to add any gold glitter or shimmer to this, but I just really wanted to give it a little bit of a pop. You could also add foil at the end once you've kind of finished the design and top coated and everything. But I just love a little bit of glitter through everything. So that's what I'm doing here. And I'm just applying it randomly. At first, I was going to add a kind of chevron triangle at the cuticle area. But then I just decided against it because I thought it might have been a little bit too harsh for this pattern. Now thinking about it, it probably wouldn't have been. But anyway, let's just go with the flow. So now I'm happy with my glitter placement. I'm coming in with crystal clear acrylic from Nailmate and I'm going to go ahead and encapsulate the entire design, making sure to smooth out any lumps and bumps and just to ensure that everything is capped so that we don't spoil when filing.
So here is how my design looks after filing and buffing. I like to use the 100, 180 grit nail files from my website, which I'll have listed for you guys down below. If you want to check it out, don't forget to use my coupon code NINJA5 for 5% off. And I'm now coming in with Super Gloss No Wipe Top Coat, also available on my website. It's my absolute ultimate fave. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply a nice juicy layer over the entire nail and then encapsulate in the lamp encapsulate in the lamp really and then cure in the lamp for 60 seconds Okay guys, so I finished curing in the light and this is the final result. I freaking love it. If you don't... If, ugh. If you guys love it as well, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it. And if you try it out, definitely tag me on Instagram. As always, remember that you are bomb.com lit as fuck. And don't ever let anyone tell you any different because you got this and I love you. Mwah. I'm always doing the most. Finish my cup and reload. Let it swing right back. Let it swing right back. Back, back.